Okay, colored pencil class. I am uh, starting a new project with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the cupcake. If you're still working on the cupcake, that's no big deal. You can watch these movies whenever you get a chance. And we're going to do this sweet little set of doves. I know this is kind of a wintry picture, but I've had a bunch of doves around my house and I found this picture on Pixabay. Uh, Pixabay is a great uh, site where you can get uh, royalty free uh, images uh, in order to use them for your art and um, so anyways I use them a lot of times okay I went through and picked out some colors now I may have picked out more than I need uh, but I have like this um, kind of putty color which would be more um, into the uh, as the pale colors that go into the feathers and then down below, uh, it's more of a blue tone, especially in these uh, areas. And then it starts getting kind of putty before the browns. Uh, the feet here, <laughs> I chose this red for uh, the feet. And it is uh, crimson red, if you need to know that. Um, I've got the beige. Um, well, try that again. Oh, it's light peach. Uh, this particular bird is a little pinkier than this one. And I hope that's not because I was running out of yellow on my uh, printer because the head looks a little uh, peachier too. Hopefully it's just the difference between a male and female or whatever. Uh, I have the 70% um, yes, 70% French gray, which is going to be these uh, almost darkest... Uh, parts before it turns into black of course I have black and white and then this one is a bronze um, and I see a lot of this uh, color especially in this bird maybe a little bit on the top part of this one here and um, as an artist I'm going to choose to eliminate this um, branch in the front of them uh, you can add it in if you would like uh, so they kind of look like they're sitting in the middle, middle of all that um, and you would use some of the same colors as the bird in it. So I was just trying to uh, eliminate those. And this one is the beige. And I see the beige a lot in the brighter sides of uh, the bird. So this is going to have a little gray on it because it's the darker side. But then here's your beige uh, and peach up in there. Then I have a little bit of sienna, which I'm probably going to have to mix with the beige to get this redder color head for this particular bird, or maybe a little bit in the front of the beak of this bird. And I believe that's all the colors I have. Whoops, what you, what are you? This is dark umber. Okay, so these parts right here that are so dark brown, they almost look black. You could use black uh, if you don't have the dark umber, but I just laid the colors on a... Uh, the picture and chose what colors uh, that I'm going to use for this foot and this foot I am um, going to have to add white obviously to um, lighten up the this foot this one is in shadow so it, the red of the dove shows more that's just one of their cardinal things so go print off your picture those of you who um, can get overwhelmed with uh, with all the colored pencil and whatnot you can do just one bird, okay? So if you're new to colored pencil, pick one bird. If you're an advanced student or if you're wanting to spend more time with your colors and uh, all that kind of stuff, then go ahead and draw off both birds. Now I've taken a nine by 12 piece of uh, paper and did a transfer of my uh, birds onto this piece. Now I want you to realize uh, whenever there's a hard line, but it's light, and you're not going to have dark, dark, dark in the background. You need to make sure that you lighten all of these lines. I did them dark so that you could really uh, see what all I was doing, uh, all of these little um, uh, dark parts and stuff within the feathers. I uh, wanted to make sure that I got all of those, and um, I want to make sure that I have all of the... Um, the details and stuff um, for each one of the the doves and now we're going to need to lighten it now I'm using white paper because the background is very light you could use gray paper if you have um, 
if you have some gray or silver or um, something along those lines that um, you have cardstock of, this would work great for that. Otherwise, you can just um, use the um, the book um, to do your sketchbook to do these two birds in, or you can just pick to choose pick one or the other of the birds. Um, and do uh, just one. So I don't have any black erasers here at home, but this is on white paper, so uh, it's not as, as bad. I just won't be able to erase the colored pencil themselves as well. And uh, so I'm lightening the outlines so that I can get, especially around this eye, um, the black part, this inner ring will get consumed into the black, but this line right here, as you'll notice, it's white next to a soft uh, peachy kind of color. So um, you definitely want the uh, outer ring there to be uh, lightened up quite a bit. And I know it may take you guys a while just to do the transfer. I think in class, it might have taken a class to do um, all of it. And I hope you enjoyed the the other uh, projects. And uh, if you don't have a brush at home, you know, you can use, a, you could just use a paintbrush, just a regular old household paintbrush. And um, that works well. Too. All right, now in this particular project, we have a ton of patterns going on. Some are soft and some are hard. So um, that's going to be hard lines are going to be like the black around this feather or the black hole in here. Those are the hard lines. And then these are all the soft blend, blend, blends of, of uh, different colors on top of different colors, um, obviously. So... Um, we're going to get started with the uh, um, uh, let's go ahead and do this bird first that way as I work down I don't sit my hand into it so we're going to start off with um, I'm gonna leave my white and my black out of my hand with the top part of his head and um, I think I'm going to use the beige and the uh, Sienna, as well as the um, the light peach. Okay, so in the head, I see this um, sand color underneath all of these other colors that are going to be like super light. But if I put dark on top of a um, of the uh, sand color, I won't be able to use the sand to blend. So we're going to start off with just a really light layer. Um, of um, the sienna color. Always go in the direction that um, the fur or the feathers or whatever is uh, growing on um, with your strokes. There's a little bit of gray at the top so I might go with that putty color and um, that is lighter at the top so I really need to lighten that line. And um, this is that putty color. So um, it is not. Well, I'm sorry. This is 20% French gray. So depending on what you have, uh, that's what you're going to use um, to do a, um, a French gray. You're going to want um, your white along with a warm tone. If you're going to do a cool gray, then you want uh, your white along with a um, a darker tone. So your white along with a cooler tone. Excuse me. Um, so we're just putting in, following the uh, pattern that you see. I'm putting in these little bit of darker uh, feathers and it kind of makes a crown kind of shape along here 
there's a little bit of white and then there's a little bit of dark as well as the sienna color coming down so I'm just lightly lightly adding in my um, sienna color underneath the eye there it's a little bit darker and then I'm going to put these other colors uh, right on top so that the head looks like it's a little bit different color than the chest Yeah, I think on the chest here, there's a little bit of sienna color coming out of those uh, shadowy areas. And, um, and then it kind of stops in these bigger areas. And goes more um, peach on. Um, uh, it goes more of the peach on top of the beige uh, from the stomach down. It's just a little bit of sienna in these areas, um, in the uh, front of the dove. Aren't they pretty? And we're just following the. Uh, shapes that you see and right through here is where that stick is coming from so um, I'm thinking this little bit of white it might be some snow because it looks like there might be some snow falling there's a little bit on the branch down here so I'm thinking that snow not part of the bird so I'm not going to put any white feathers there but there is a little bit of um, uh, black or dark brown back into here um, you may not want to put that in uh, right away because uh, when you blend it will um, it will take um, it, it could take that dark color and blend it into other places now this eye has got a little bit of a ovalness to it in the back and it's more rounded in the front so the eye is absolute black I kinda almost hate to do that so I may leave a highlight and choose later to take it out both of the birds uh, eyes are on uh, in shadow so there's not really much of a light uh, shining through and I'll probably go and blue that up or gray it up um, depending on uh, the sky color and um, and the uh, um, so it's not just the white of the paper right so I'm gonna use this gray around the top of the eye in the um, that little white ring on the around the eye and then right on the underside of the black part uh, there's a little bit of that and then we're going to go ahead and just start um, blending in our or burnishing in our head I don't like to push too hard right at the beginning because you can't make changes if you if you um, start off too hard so I'm going to add that ring around the eye this is definitely kind of a more of a pinky color than I thought it was going to be and I can always tone it down <clears throat> And what you're doing with these under colors, you know, it's just like you're trying to uh, get rid of the um, white of the paper and um,
and just get you a base color down um, for the, um, whoops, wrong brown. What did I do? I picked up black. So go into the uh, dark brown in front of the nose of the, or the beak of the uh, bird here. And I'm just making little short strokes so it looks like tiny little uh, feathers. And uh, there is another one. Oh, there's a bunch of them. So we're just going to put those in. Uh, underneath here. <clears throat> some of these are really tiny and some of them are thicker so <clears throat> the uh, thicker ones you just want to make sure you're going in the right direction just touch 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 I mean they're short 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 strokes and then it just kind of fades into the rest of the feathers there. And it's just where they've kind of fluffed up their feathers in order to um, stay warm. And all this cold of this picture. Now you can work all of the areas that are sienna and then all of the areas that are peach and then all of the areas that are uh, tan or whatever um, you know feel free to do that however you feel most comfortable we've done them both different ways in class so um, I uh, I want you to do the way that you feel most comfortable And I am just filling in the lightest part of the chest with my light peach. And I'm going in the direction that would be the um, the way the hair, the fur, uh, the way these tiny, tiny little bitty uh, uh, feathers go. This is the soft down feathers. Super, super soft, fluffy, out of focus. Probably should have lightened some of these lines in, but some of them are very dark. Uh, along the bottom here, um, this dark line will be consumed into the branch, so I don't really have to worry about that one too much. And that is partial foot, partial hair. And that's lighter. This is definitely lighter on this side. And it's definitely darker on this side. The uh, bottom half of the bird. I have so many supplies here. I'm going to get rid of those. The uh, left side and the bottom half of the bird, there's a little bit of golden color here and then all along the, the bottom parts here um, as well. So we're going to uh, put those in as I kick the camera. So we're just doing layer upon layer, right?
And these layer areas that it's larger, I'm going to turn my pencil on the side, just kind of fill in. Definitely up here. And right in here. Kind of going around that black a little bit, but that's just a a stripe in the <clears throat> in the back. And there isn't any reason that we can't just go back with the black in order to get that uh, darker. And also uh, a little black into this brown because it's not dark enough. Some of these little uh, fluffs of feathers are really dark. So let's just get a little, a little blacker. And I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle of that one. So it's brown, black in the middle, and then brown on the outer side. And then I'm going to do his uh, beak. And it is definitely a darker at the tip. And then gets into that gray. And you can just do this with... Um, with your uh, black only, if you want. The top of the beak is kind of a blue-gray, so I'm going to put a little blue on top of that black and then just blend it into the, the blue part. You can always add a little white on top of blue um, and then put the black on top of the blue um, if you don't have uh, the gray tones in your set of colored pencils. I got this gray. Oh, it's more gray on the top of the head. So, I'm not sure if this is uh, snow or exactly what it is, but <laughs> this poor little bird out in the snow. Uh, we're going to continue to put the colors are um, deep in the colors that we see because whenever we put peach or gray or something on top um, of those feathers then the um, they're going to uh, lighten okay from the eye back right here is a little bit darker so I'm going to jump back over to that dark brown yep and uh, it's right back here and it just kind of flings into that space and there's a little more on the top of the head that is brown as well as up here in the front whoops <laughs> went out of the line big deal we can fix it Okay, and then back to the cinnamon uh, color. So I definitely did not have enough of that color down. And I'm going in the direction that it would be growing from the head. You can see that in the picture. So you do the same thing. A little of that sand on top of that brown. Just kind of 
blend them together a little bit. Top of the nose is a little darker. And on the right side, it's a little bit in shadow, so really light uh, color. Super, super pale. Now each one of these little uh, sections of fluffed out feathers are going to be going in a, a radial. So like um, uh, if this is the black part uh, down up underneath here, then you're going to go uh, kind of like this uh, shape. You're going to go uh, in a zigzag uh, uh, up to where like if it all went to a point, it would it would all go and so this is kind of the radial lines I was talking about but it's just this motion right so you go into the left in the middle to the right on each one of those um, little sections here so this one's going this way this one's going down kinda of more down and then there's a dark underneath it. So we're going to go back to the brown. Because it's just a little bit. It almost kind of looks like the, the pencil line. <laughs> so maybe erasing all those pencil lines is not necessary. <laughs> On the outer side right here, this part is lighter. So I'm going to add a little white. And then there's this little white. Uh, square. I don't know if it has something to do with the black side of this is white on the other side, um, but that's just barely there. The only way you can see that is because of the gray in the background. So, and I'm going to lighten up some of that uh, gray on the top of the head and uh, come around that a little bit. So, as you can see, this is going to take a while and uh, but I want y'all to take your time, okay? Now, as I get out of the head here, I'm gonna stop using the sienna color and go more with the uh, the beige color. So let's get uh, the rest of these uh, finished out. Go in the radial marks. Uh, this is soft back here, so it just goes softening the pencil and then this one is a radial up to this black or dark brown color and then there's one more right in here and we're pretty much done with the head there might be a little bit more in this area going in a radial Oh, I like that on top of the peach. Um, let me just keep doing that. Um, this is the um, darker uh, fluffy feathers. And there's a split there. And there's a radial mark going out there. This is getting lighter, actually, so I'm going to keep this color in the darker parts. And you're just adding in all of those little, all those little marks. That's going to uh, show the... Uh, the fur all, I mean the uh, feathers all fluffed up. This one has a perfect loop. Sure does. Oh, every time. I thought maybe I was just trying to draw it too quickly, but there is an actual perfect little loop there in the middle. And as this side goes down, 
it goes up actually. And you want all these under colors in before you do any type of you know burnishing and whatnot, but we may not burnish this one at all. It looks pretty cool with the with all the little lines showing. And this is Sienna Brown. If you don't have, um, huh, I'll be darned. This is Burnt Ochre. Oh, well, it looks very much like cinnamon. <laughs> There's a, uh, uh, it looks a lot like Sienna. If you don't have Sienna and you have Burnt Ochre, then uh, that one will work well. In these really soft places, I'm kind of making strokes instead of little flings um, so that it is softer looking. So it's kind of, you know, like coloring it in instead of, uh, instead of making the flings. So that goes around, that goes around. There is one kind of in here, it's very pale. <clears throat> that one, this one comes down to here. And almost all the way to the legs. Uh, there's a dark, darker spot here and here. And there's a little bit on the outside. And then this is pretty much white blending into the yellow. So we can go ahead and put that, uh, that yellow tone down darker. And it's going to go right over some of these uh, darker marks that we've already put in. And I am doing tap, 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 tap. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, I'm trying not to uh, color something in solidly uh, unless I turn my pencil like this. So... Um, if you see me doing this, I'm making line, 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 but they're all just right on top of each other. So it looks more like the fluffy parts of the um, sweet dove here. And that's going to go out on the outer side. All the way down to this part. Okay, now in this uh, picture here, you can see the um, wider area on the outside of uh, this particular um, 
part. I had a pencil line in there. I don't know why. Um, but it's kind of bluish or grayish. So um, I'm going to um, actually put a little bit of blue in there. And then I'm going to add white on top. So the blue starts about right in here and comes into um, the fluffy part of the uh, stomach area. Now this is the wing on the outside. So this is the uh, darker colors that are going to go on the outer outer edge. And so I'm going to blend some of that blue up into the uh, yellowish tone and because um, uh, because of the yellow it's going to turn that blue into more of a gray tone and that's pretty much what we want. There is a little bit in here as well. Kind of gives me that grayish look but I'm just using the blue on top of the there's a little bit right here in this corner. Um, I think I'm going to add it to the top of the head too. Maybe that's just a little too gray for me. Can't really tell. I burnished that a little too much so we can go back and just add uh, white to that. There is a little blue into the tummy when we put the peach on top. It's just going to kind of soften that into a grayed, a shadowy area. And we're going to continue that. There is none down here at the bottom. That is all the yellow tone. So I'm going to go back to the uh, yellow and put those marks in. And I'm flinging up so that I can create an edge around this one and um, the shadowy part of the, uh, I know feathers are not going to grow up, but they're uh, flinging upwards is going to help create uh, the illusion of soft feathers. And uh, help keep that yellow in there. Yeah, that's definitely peachy in there too. So we're going to come back with the, the, let's go ahead and finish this side up. That way my hand doesn't fit into it. Uh, here's the white. Uh, I'm going to add the white. I'm not doing uh, feather marks. I'm actually pressing it into the surface of the paper so it will blend with that blue. And um, we're going to go to the outer wing and then I'm going to press that white uh, to get this little fuzzy edge, I'm going to press that white into uh, the darker colors on the on the outer wing, and um, it is warmer kind of colors at the top and darker kind of colors towards the bottom. So this is the wow, that's very yellow. What is that? That's bronze. Not what I meant to use. This is the um, gray, 70% I think, yes it is, and uh, we're just going to lightly wash over a lot of this. Wing area, this comes down and then goes out. follows in there. <clears throat> okay, so we have a base color and then we're going to go back to the uh, more yellowy brown uh, to go up underneath each one of these uh, sets of feathers, right? And then we're going to go on with the black. So uh, there may be a little bit of this sienna and that might tie it together as well. So we're just going to, we're just going to go with it. And 
there is not much yellowy color down below this part and nor that top part all right so let's go with the dark umber and there's just a few really dark browns um, and you're just gonna make little short strokes don't uh, don't just try to fill it in guys look and see what's really there and um, and draw your wing in and there's a pretty good gap before um, there is this dark uh, part here and that might actually be black so we're going to put in our a um, little bit of sienna color looks like it's right in here and right up here that's just so light Looks more like the bronze color, but I just wanted to tie it all together. Um, then I'm going to add the blue as a burnish. And that's just at the bottom. Got to get rid of some of that yellow that I'd accidentally put down there at the bottom. And that is definitely gray. Okay, so now we have our um, uh, wing in. And um, I'm going to burnish the edges with the weight. And... I need to clean off the tip because it's got gray on it. Sharpen it. We use a lot of white, don't we? Oh, boy, I hate that. Okay. So I'm just going to... Uh, no! <laughs> okay. Well, you obviously can't push backwards on... Uh, a prismacolor so I'm going to push I just have to turn my paper push 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 oh that's hilarious okay I have obviously dropped this white a few times or something because it is uh, definitely trying to uh, okay that's white, that's white. There's a little bit of white on that branch, but we're not drawing the snow, so. Um, we're gonna go back in with the peach and finish out his tail. There is another black, but I'm going to use dark brown. Yeah. A uh, line that comes through here. I don't have, or is that that one? Oh well. He'll fluff up one way one time and then fluff another and it'll just be a different time, right? So we're going to put in a tiny little bit of brown in some of these but not until I get the peach on sorry got distracted
going in the direction that you see the uh, feathers. Those little fluffy down feathers. The ones in the middle are pretty much straight up and down. Uh, so you can do those. You just want to leave a little bit of the white and then they combine down here so I'm not pushing as hard I'm holding my pencil farther away but I'm still uh, going in that direction going up around here going up and around up and around creating these little tufts of fluff I love it and that yellow actually comes up uh, into here as well. So I'm going to grab that and put a little bit more of that in there. And our bird is starting to take shape. <clears throat> Adding back the peach. Uh, that was in there that kind of got lost. And in between and around the eyes and the fluff there's actually this little bit of white right along the uh, the beak so I don't know if that's a white piece in the bottom beak or what it's a little bit out of uh, focus there so we're just going to go with it as it is I'm going to go back to my brown and I'm going to start putting in these little uh, parts you know uh, it's pretty much down the center and then there's a few lighter ones uh, as they go out so that just means you're not going to push as hard did it again <clears throat> so there is this really darker part here gets lighter as it goes out softening It's a little darker, a little tiny bit here, just making some of these little fluffy marks on the bird. And then we're going to burnish it out, probably with white. This little thing right here is um, is this little part. Almost like there might be a feather or so missing there. You know how birds preen themselves. So um, you may have pulled out one or two. And that's definitely peach. So we're going to color that one in. Go back to the brown. And there's a second one right there. So most of this is and these are very very pale so all right 
Let's see if we can't make this look uh, even softer than it does now by adding this uh, white. Still making sure that you're going in the direction of the feathers. It helps uh, burnish everything out in the correct direction. It's all going to look like it goes together. I think I want to get the um, colorless blender. Is, uh, that is definitely getting whiter than the picture. Trying to be careful to go in between some of these, but I don't want the absolute black to be there either. Um, we can um, push that back and then come back with brown on top so it's not so black. Because I think the brown is going to do us a better job. And... Uh, I like the look of it better with the black. It's black is a little harsh. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to jump over to this. Uh, actually, I picked up the red. So let's go ahead and put that little foot in. Um, that is... His little red toe. <laughs> and uh, we're going to um, make it lighter on the outside over here. Kind of blend that in, actually. Then we'll take a darker color, creating the shadow of the bird on the toe. And then we'll take the black and create its little claw. I'm pushing harder on the back side of the claw than the front side. The front side has a little bit of a highlight to it. It's so pale. So next to the bird here is... Um, this grayish color uh, that I used in the other wing, this 70%. Just follow the pattern that you see in your bird. dark and then it comes right off of this other bird then we're going to go to that golden tone um, which is this uh, color on the outer outer parts of the wing here adding in that yellowish color outside here and then right in there is that gray and we tend to like to do that with the blue so we're gonna put that in there and um, I need the yellow there we go and put a little bit of that in the uh, wing there as well and go back to our original gray 
Put that back on top. Is this bump? Oh yeah. This is the dark. And there's just a couple of little lines in there. All right. So we are done with the uh, other wing on the other side. And his little toe. And um, so I can say we've pretty much finished uh, bird number one. I think I really want to come back in. I'm probably going to get um, an orange type color and come back in on the top. And I might do a little bit more... Um, uh, with that color, probably a Spanish orange or something, uh, in order to uh, brighten that head uh, up a little bit and add just a little bit of here so it kind of ties it together and all. Well, there's one of your um, your birds, and I'm going to come back and show you how to do um, the bottom feathers, the blue feathers, and the black and stuff. It's pretty basic. The tree and everything, and then I'm going to let you finish the front bird. He's going to be a lot of fun. Gotta, gotta love it, right? I hope y'all had fun today.